Hey, welcome back to part two. If you haven't seen part one already, I will link it up above right now. But uh, first up, it's bridal portraits. There's a golf buggy behind her, so I just simply move to my left and cut out the background, so it's not distracting in any way. Normally use my 85 millimeter most of the day. I'd say about 95%. Uh, just here, I was pointed out that the jewelry is quite important to the bride, so here's a couple of photos of that. Okay, so simply my process is just to get the uh, bride in a shaded area, I thought this was quite nice and uh, with shade the light's normally quite flattering and I normally get a wide, uh, get a close up and then here's a good opportunity to get a good shot of the flowers and uh, of the dress. Um, yeah, so this is my 35mm, I thought I'd do a wide of her in front of this a uh, nice door and then a vertical panorama at 85. Okay, here the uh, Toastmaster has her attention going about uh, the uh, times of the day, so I quickly got a shot of the flowers and the back of her hair. It's always important just to uh, make sure you capture all the details, and if you can do it candidly, then that's great. Obviously, that's an important photo to her, so. Yeah, it's important to capture anything important to the bride. Sometimes they have photos like that hang over their bouquet. And... Okay, so here she's walking towards the ceremony area with her father. 85 millimeters, really good for this. As you can see, shooting through the gate and getting rid of the clutter. Over at the ceremony area, we're in nice shade here, but it is quite backlit. But it's Every time I go, so yeah, really backlit. The clouds aren't particularly strong either, so it's quite cumbersome having to change my shutter speed constantly. But when time you lose some, important to capture everyone who walks in down the aisle, and obviously anyone standing around. Always need to, you always need to get the other half's first view of the bride. She was meant to walk over that bridge, but I think it's a bit rickety, so best avoided. Okay, switch it up to my 35 to capture this nice hug. wide of the wedding party. Mm -hmm. 85mm mm -hmm. is really good for isolating people uh, in a crowd and um, yeah I'm, it's my, definitely my favourite lens. Mm -hmm. I did have the uh, Tamron 85mm before but um, this one's really nice because I don't have to use the adapter. So 85 Isolating them in straight back to a 35 just to get the wide shot. Normally during the ceremony I literally just rotate and document everything going on. Obviously when there's vowels and things it's good to capture the vowels and the exchange of the rings. Uh, with my settings obviously um, I've only put the settings up because the people have requested it. Uh, I don't really think they're that important because of it's, my shutter speed is literally just me um, worrying about the backlit backlit light, so I just keep changing it depending on where I'm standing. I leave the uh, f-stop at f2. Normally it's f1.8 to be honest, but, uh, but yeah, for some reason I took it all on f2 today. ISO is 100 uh, because if I'm using the Z6 and Z5, they both have um, different ISOs beneath ISO 100 so all the exposures are different and stuff so 85 is really good for uh, passing of rings by the way. You can see now it's really really back on the GoPro footage. Five millimeter, brilliant, and then a wide. 
So here I am waiting for the first kiss and I'm worried about the officiant behind. Uh, you can just about see them behind but that hug frames it really really nicely and the, the sun has some cloud and it's just wrap around the beautiful light. Okay, so on your register, I typically don't really like post photos, so just quick snap. Uh, you never really know what's going to happen here when they get given their uh, wedding certificate or uh, certificate of marriage. Um, sometimes people throw confetti, sometimes they don't. In this case, uh, they didn't. We've, we did do a confetti shoot, uh, I'll save that for the next video. Jim the Toastmaster, awaiting their arrival for their first drink. couple of 85s. It's always important just to watch, observe and just capture everything ha happening naturally. And yeah, that's it. I'll um, see you in the next video. Oh, there'll be lots and lots of candids. Uh, we'll do the speeches. We have the couple's portraits and we also have a lovely confetti shot. So yeah, make sure you check out the next video. Thank you very much.